Welcome back to Top 5 Best for another dose of inspirational houses. I mean, we can't really go on in life without looking at how creative people can get when it comes to building and designing their living spaces. The video I have for you today is about houses with surprising interiors. We'll be looking at houses out there that might seem simple, old, and even ugly sometimes, but once you go inside, you're going to be absolutely shocked. The interiors of these places are nothing like the way they look on the inside. At least a house in this list made a lot of neighbors laugh and raise their eyebrows, but that all changed once people got a glimpse of what's inside. And get ready for the houses I have at the top. You're not even going to imagine what secrets they hold inside. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Texas Barn. There's no Texas without the barns, ain't that right? And I'm sure a lot of people over there have made cool living spaces for humans in these buildings that are meant to keep animals inside. But I doubt any of those barn houses can top the one I'm going to show to you today. It's a barn house in San Antonio. Sure, you could judge it by its looks, you'd think there are a lot of horses inside this barn waiting for their food or for someone to take them out for a ride. But once you walk inside, you realize this is actually a very luxurious and comfortable living space. Just look at the living room and we'll show you that the house is anything but simple. It has a fancy leather sofa and a projector to watch movies. I mean, what else do you need? There's also a dining room and an extravagant bar with high ceilings. And there's also a second floor, which is where you can find all the bedrooms and bathrooms for a little bit of privacy in this huge space that can perfectly fit a big Texan family and still have room for lots of other guests. Number 9. The Abandoned House in New Orleans. New Orleans is one of the oldest cities in the United States. It has a ton of great food, quirky shops, and of course, a lot of historical sites that reflect on the past of the nation. And that includes a lot of old houses like this one. Now, there is a big difference between old and abandoned, and when you look at this one, it's easier to put it under the abandoned category. Just look at those fading walls and the doors. I would doubt anyone lives there. But once you step inside, you'll realize this is more like a luxurious mansion. And of course, it's anything but abandoned. It has a very wide living room with fancy furniture and right next to a minimalist yet elegant dining room and walls with a lot of art and books. And then if you walk into the kitchen, you'll find a very modern space that is easily more fancy than the kitchen I have in my own place. There's also a loft-style bedroom and even a backyard for an afternoon tea with a couple of friends. I wouldn't picture this if I were to imagine the interior based on what I see outside. Number 8. The Toronto Gym. The exterior of the next house on this list is not necessarily old, ugly, or anything like that. It's just, well, normal. It looks like any other house on the block. However, I am 100% sure that no other house in the neighborhood looks like this one does on the inside. As soon as you walk into this home, you'll travel back to the 60s. Because, you see, this house has remained unchanged since that decade and has been well preserved by its 97-year-old owner. Some of its walls are painted with a variety of pastel colors and others have been covered with very unique wallpapers. There's also a bar in the basement covered with wood panels. And I'm sure all the furniture in this house is worth a fortune. They have been well preserved for a ton of time. It's as if a museum and a mansion were blended together to make what this house is today. The house was put in the market for a modest amount of $699,000, which I think is actually quite low considering everything that the house has to offer. Number 7. The Narrow Polish House. And now we're going to revisit a home that we've seen in previous videos, but it is worth mentioning. This is, of course, the Carrot House, which can easily be considered the narrowest house in the world. The widest point of this house is barely 122 centimeters long, and yet it allows someone to live comfortably inside of it. This home was built by Polish architect Jakub Szczeny, who says he even had to customize every piece of furniture so it can all fit perfectly inside of the house. I mean, even the smallest houses in the world can fit regular-sized furniture, so this house must be really narrow for Jakub to even have to go through all that extra work. This house is perfect for someone who likes to work from home, and even more specifically for riders who love their personal space. I mean, it's really easy to isolate yourself in this house, because there's not even enough space to hold a proper gathering for people. This home is meant for one person. The only main rooms are a bedroom and a study room, and they are separated by a simple ladder. The Carrot House was intended to stay up for only two years, but it's now become an icon of Warsaw, and it's also now part of everyone's list of the things they want to see in this city. Number 6. The Airplane House 
We've seen people living in RVs and other sorts of minivans and even making a home inside of their cars. But would you consider living inside of an airplane? Just try to sleep during a 12-hour flight and you'll realize it's not the most comfortable space to make a permanent living space. However, this airplane in Costa Rica is probably one of the best homes you can find in the middle of the rainforest. With two bedrooms and breathtaking views, you can simply forget you're inside a Boeing once you find your way through this home. This project was made by Bruce Campbell, who still considers this legit home to be a work in progress. He also says that jetliners can and should be transformed into wonderful homes. He's so obsessed with transforming planes into homes that he's now considering doing a similar project in Japan, which is where he spends his time if he's not lounging at his Costa Rican exotic home. Number 5. The UK Purple House The next house on this list is in the UK. The exterior is actually quite impressive. I mean, I'm sure a lot of houses over there look like this one, and I would be happy to walk inside if I'm given the chance to do so. It looks big and it has nice walls, and it even has a backyard. So what is it about this place that makes it so interesting? Well, of course, that being its interior. Whoever lives inside this place is obsessed with the color purple. So if that's your favorite color, you might fall in love with this home right away. Or you might get sick of purple and choose a new favorite color. The walls, the tiles, the rugs, pretty much everything is purple. There's only a few pieces of furniture that are black and white, just to contrast a bit with the excessive amount of purple all around. And, well, it seems like someone out there really loved the idea of a purple home, because the place was sold at 400,000 British pounds, which is the equivalent to a bit more than half a million US dollars. Number 4. The Clock Tower House When you walk around Brooklyn, you'll probably spot the clock tower. Sure, it's impressive, but would you ever consider checking out what it looks like from the inside? Well, as I mentioned in previous videos, this building is more than just another clock tower. Inside it, you're going to find one of the most impressive penthouses in the city. It's a 650 square meter space from which you can have one of the best views of New York City. The previous owners originally tried to sell it at 25 million US dollars back over in 2010, but they realized that no one was that crazy for a clock tower penthouse. So they had to slowly lower down the prices until finally someone bought it at the modest amount of 15 million dollars. Apparently this home is a perfect spot to get a view of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. Number 3. The Backyard Secret And now there's this house in the UK that looks pretty ordinary from outside. Now you might think a whole magical world will pop out in front of your eyes once you open the door, but surprisingly that's not the case. I mean, the house is nice. It has a regular living room, a normal bedroom, a kitchen that is big, but still nothing extraordinary. So then, what's just so unique about this space? Why did I put it on this list? Well, a visit to the backyard is all you need to get the answers to those questions. As soon as you step outside, you'll realize there is a small building inside the property, something that looks like a tiny house. As you approach it, you'll realize it is a pub, actually. This house has its own private pub in the backyard. It's well equipped with lots of space to bring friends and family over. There's a bar and plenty of chairs to relax and unwind after long days of work. This place was sold for about 320,000 US dollars, and I'm sure the new owners now have one of the most popular hangout spots within their group of friends. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This video has shown us that we can never judge a house by its looks, and just one glimpse at the interior can change the way we see things. But some houses hold so many secrets that you might have to go through some sort of secret passage before you see what surprises the space can hold. The picture I have today shows a hidden door underneath a bed, and today I want to show you a house that will take you through a lot of doors and secret passages before you see one of its biggest secrets. Number 2. The Underground House in Upstate New York Just look at this house in Upstate New York. The place looks decent, it even has a small airplane parked outside. And when you look inside, you'll realize the place is actually pretty big, with enough space for people to work, cook, eat, and enjoy some quality time with their loved ones. But things get interesting once you go through a door and start going downstairs. You will then find a gate that looks something right out of a video game. And it definitely looks like the kind of gate I would use if there was something I wanted to hide from the outside world. And sure enough, there actually is a quite big secret there. It's an underground home. Everything you just saw prior to that gate is just a misleading facade. This home has massive bedrooms and a living room perfect for people who love their private space and need an escape from their social life. There's also even a silo, which made me realize that the people who own this place are absolutely ready in the case of an apocalypse. Maybe that's what the owners had in mind when they built it? I guess they want to be ready if the world ends anytime soon. 
I don't know their intentions, but I definitely know I wouldn't mind living in a space like this one. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Slovak Billboard Houses in a world in which social media has taken over, billboards are not as popular as they were before. Yet, some Slovak designers have found a great way to use them. They in fact made 18 square meter houses out of them. That's right, they made billboard homes for the homeless. Outside you only see billboards, but inside they are proper living spaces. These homes are powered by the same electricity that lights up the billboards and have enough space for a bed, storage, and a bathroom. The interior is covered in wood and nice touches of light which evoked the creativity of the people who designed them. I honestly think that's a great initiative to help homeless people and give great use of those billboards along the road. Good on you, Slovakia! What do you think of these houses? Would you like to live in any of them? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.